Hello there, Chixir here, and tonight I'm going to play the game called Fortnite with with my beloved Alastris. This game, uh, this game is early access, but it is the early access done, right? This game has been in development for a couple of time actually. I think it was like two, two and a half a year when I read about it for the first time, and today. It actually came uh, came out as an early access option. Uh, the game is claimed to be free in 2018, but since then you can invest a couple of bucks to buy it. The developers swear that uh, indeed there will be a cash shop in the game, but it should be sort of like cosmetic cash shop thingy and. You should be able to get everything available in game, everything I mean, by just playing the game. So you can un uninvest some cash if you want to shortcut through that, but there should not be any pay to win element. Usually developers of many titles claim this and the reality is somewhere else. We will see about, for we will see about Fortnite right there, but what I'm going to do now is I've actually played a couple of missions but I haven't really played in a true cooperation just with some random players that have been much made to me so yeah I'm going to try invite Alastris and we will try to play something together all right so currently I should have Alastris here so I'm going to invite her to party Cool, there she is. Oh, of course, she has a she has a icon of a coffee. And we're going to play something. I'm going to pass her a leader, and we're going to play one of the missions she played because she's slightly behind. I, I started this game by myself, but of course she wanted to social settings. Oh, filter my true language. Not really, but. Okay, though, so the first problem is how how do I I have no idea yeah that that that, that works too Alright, so Alastris is now party leader and we're going to play the first mission available. This game is kind of weird. It it looks very sandboxy, but it is not in reality. You have like one base that you can manage and do uh, do certain quests in the intervention base and you can like create a fort around that mansion base and they are like some sort of zombie creatures or they are called like husks or storm creatures in here and they are coming from all directions and you have to you have to defend yourself I currently don't know what's going on oh I'm here on the map so th this is me And you can repeat it with the various goals and the fort stays but then there are like missions in the world where you are exploring and again it's very sandboxy you can destroy environment but in this is still oh lovely hips Alastris you're a b big woman though <laughs> so so yeah the game is kind of sandboxy but it's not it's like the maps that you can openly explore but it always ends there is not like a hub where you could hand out and this thing is essentially the hub also uh, there is no character customization there are a lot of characters in various shapes and, and, and sizes there are currently four classes each class has male and female variant and you basically collecting cards with rarer and rarer heroes that fits into one of those four classes 
and it's either male or female, obviously. Sometimes they're different, like this girl over here and my girl, they are they're the same. Like the one on the on the left. It's called Vodolo. And me, it's Assault Trooper. It's female variant of the soldier in game essentially. But you can customize it yourself. You can only collect these cards. And when you collect the card, you can play as mentioned character. And then you can combine the cards, creating your own squad while the heroes are not physically with you but provide you some sort of bonuses you can collect your own defenders that will defend your base if you need to and yeah, it's pretty much the game about grind but it's a game about grind down the right and as you can see here the storm is coming the lore of this game is that 98 percent of human population die when this storm came out and the storm created basically husks which is some sort of some sort of zombies in the, in the settings that basically goes after what's remaining and you have to defend that and, um, and like there is some sort of robot who who is like protecting the world that should stop the storm in the first place it's very it's very messy but in a nutshell just build a fort defend against zombies because when the storm scout zombies out when the storms when the storm is coming the zombies will be coming and like I don't even know what I'm talking about let's let's smash some things like the thing about this game is you can destroy practically everything you can see this beautiful setting the game is very stylized it's just like uh, if if hello if hello neighbor had a baby with wild with with wild star and this is exactly what it would be the mentioned baby so you can you can search thing and when you when you take the ammo or whatever you find there you just smash it for wood and you are collecting like stone wood metal and that's for the base building and then you're collecting other parts like nails and ammunition and various gears that can be used for the creating of various traps it is uh, Resembling also orcs must die when you will were if it comes to the system of traps. It's pretty much the same. But you are not you're not placing only traps, you're placing all the fort itself. It's hard to describe, but it's very very easily like graspable once you're in, you just smash things, collecting loot and do whatever you need to do to survive this usually the games are like go somewhere, trigger something, build a fort and defend so there is always this sort of, how to describe it like exploring or co collecting collecting phase and uh, this is exactly I wanted to show you. You see, you can basically build any structure anywhere, so you have you have easy time to get like onto obstacles because you build the stairs. The base building is very similar similar to Rust or or Arc. It also runs on the Unreal Engine like Arc does, but I I couldn't tell because the graphics are obviously very very stylized. Still I stylish, still I iced. I cannot talk. I'm sorry. So we are currently looking for the laboratory, whatever that is. So is this, the, is this a secret lab? No, I don't think it is. Like there is loot everywhere, but. Then again, loot consists only from what is pieces of ammo and things that you can use to craft other things, essentially. While the true loot that gives you new thing is based on the mission result. So if you if you were doing bonus objective, if you were active, yeah. Let's see what's inside. Ray is the robot with. A worldly female voice that is basically. And this inspires even less confidence. 
Yeah. Let's take a look around. Let's explore. Okay. Looks like it was abandoned. So let's get inside of this. Hi. Computer. This computer? Whoa, this is interesting. In the lead up to the storm, Fender Tech Labs began developing experimental weapons. Normally I find that kind of thing disturbing, but these days I'm all about it. It looks like this lab was working on something called an atmosphere. Okay, I could I could have opened the door. Let's download the schematic. Let's test it out. Okay, to start we'll need some blue glow to power the weapon. There should be some in this lab. Then, I've got a hunch we'll want to stock up on bullets. There are two ways to craft bullets. You can open your inventory and select the bullets you want I'm to I'm in the storm and craft bullets, so yeah. Or you can hold to do it. on your current weapon to auto-craft the Let's craft bullets. Let's craft some bullets. 300 of those, right? I'm not only one crafting, right? No. Like the the idea of you being able to destroy everything in this environment is like I love it. Because like, is there a wall in your in your way? No problem, I'll just destroy it. Even though the world is just perfectly designed, why not ruin it? Why not make a your own door to some random house? Just because you don't like it being closed or, or whatever that is. Even though they're like doors, two blocks away and you could just open that. Also the the noise that's coming from outside is probably the storm that is enclosing is there. And now We're all set. I've marked the target on your map. We need more oh. They were rescuing the survivor. Which is like my reward, cool, thank you. I got the wood and planks and stuff. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is the these these heavy dudes. With this big woman and this big dude. It's, it's a builder class. I'm a soldier class and currently there are two other classes. One is the highwayman, which I like which I like as well. There's some sort of like Consider Daryl from Walking Dead. Like the guy with a sniper rifle, or the girl that has some tracking skills and basically can see some of the bonus objectives on the map, I think. And then there is a ninja, which is your fast running dude who loves melee combat. Well, the katana, of course. Alright, so now I should head to the Atlas target. I think we have enough of everything pretty much right now. I could use some more wood, but I can then again build everything from metal. Yeah, don't worry, even if I like tear down this it won't it won't end up on my head. According to the lab's computers, you place the atlas on the target. Yeah, we should be saving the world, but it's more like the Vandal simulator. Just running around destroying everything. Okay, let's go. Adding blue glow lets us know the direction the storm will be coming from. Prepare for an attack from the west. Build some basic reinforcements to protect the Atlas. This storm will be stronger than what we well, saw there, at there, there used to be bonus objectives, so we should not overbuild. Never. At least, well, not never, but... Now build defenses around the Atlas and activate it when you're ready. Bonus challenge is now available. 
Okay, now okay, get in the door. Like the building in this game is very, very interesting. They will be coming from the west. Which means all I need is to put some barriers in here. And if people will want some traps, it will be easy to achieve. But I don't think it is necessary. This is the easy mission. I'm going to activate the defense. There you can see those little tornadoes or tentacles or whatever that is that will be spawning these dudes which are basically zombies. If you take a closer look. They have some sort of hood on their suits but their suits are actually bodies. And the hood is actually the face of the person who wore it before them. These missions are easy, you don't even need any traps, but traps are handy and I can imagine that later in the game when monsters will be stronger and all that stuff, it will be actually crucial for you to have a tacti tactical fort with some some traps and there, there's a lot of traps, there are like your typical spikes that you can put on the ground, there are, there are shooters that you can attach on the wall. There are even ceiling traps. Well, there are things that like uh, are in a trap category, but non are not traps at all. It's like thing that you can slam the med, med kit on the ground so people can heal because it creates some sort of med kits over time. And I'm not even far in the game yet. So there's a lot to do, a lot to build. I like the game. Look at this. This looks terrifying too. Of course, but the most important thing is to protect this thing over here. I don't know who put these walls over there, but okay, whatever. Considering I, I don't think those two guys, that C90 and Bodo, are pre-made with anyone, like I am with Alastris, so they are pretty much on the beginning, just like Alastris is. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Like, I can see the players being a little enthusiastic about this game because yeah, the game came out today. And even though there were some beta testers, now it is really open to public, so Also, this game reminds me a little bit a game called Zombie Playground, where you play as a kid in abandoned in abandoned school, killing zombies, and it's pretty much like yeah, it's very similar to this game, except you are not building any sort of forts over there. You just kill things that spawn. Well, that's it. Yeah, I don't think. For this mission, that it's necessary to. Yeah, thank you for the tip. I'm going to abuse it now. I don't think it's necessary to even build anything, considering how well it's it's protected over over there. You can just run around killing things by by a sword or a pistol or whatever. I even have a shotgun if I feel like it. Wow. 
He's a submachine gun. Bro. I'm getting, I'm getting actually frame spikes. I think it's the recording. Yeah, I'm back to 60 though. Well, it's not that bad. Obviously, it's in it's Unreal Engine, so there will be some like of hardware requirements, but you can turn the shadows down and and all the all the good stuff. So it's not that bad. So far it's good. Usually one of the common bonus objective is to keep your atlas or whatever you're defending. Sometimes it's shield, sometimes it's atlas, sometimes it's something else entirely. It's keep it up above 80%. Alright, four seconds. Bronze combat badge, I don't know how good that is. Okay. And that's it. Like, and then the mission ends. And with that, how you're exploring and stuff ends. So, if you want to explore the map can't trigger the wave for actually do it so now after the result screen uh, you will be awarded some experience that, uh, the experience are not going to your character it's going to your commander which is essentially you who is controlling these characters and then you can purchase various perks for it that apply for everybody and you get loot the more our bonus objective and more like the better your results is the better your result is the better the chest is which is pretty obvious and then it just pops and gives you loot so there you go let's open this I got people and some experience, so I think overly exciting. But sometimes you get like some sort of pinata whooshers or whatever. I have 100 V bucks, which is like only thing you can buy in this store are basically these V bucks that you can get through gameplay as well. And then you can go here to the to the llama store and you can claim this one's gonna sting. and you have random weapon oh yeah Ooh, right. just a little to the left thank you boom <laughs> you smash him open Adios. and you are getting Enjoy. things so we can speed it up if you are bored by this hey, an axe. Are we 13 live Okay, whatever. And you can basically, as long as you have llamas or llama piñatas, whatever, you will get random weapons. You will just smash them open over and over again. So where did I have eleven? Eleven. This is what I was waiting for. Sometimes. If you bash into the llama, 
he Go made he made change the color into silver one. And if you are even more lucky, you get a gold one. I I obviously won't be that lucky. Oh, oh wow! Fancy. He's a he's a gold llama now. I I think it's a max rank. But I'm not sure. Now I should get now some sick loot. This is the good stuff. Okay. I got rare survivor. Some some uh, rare schematics for weapons. Which is nice. And legendary leader, legendary survivor. That's fucking awesome. Awesome, I'm getting... Now I got the hero. Okay, look. Just don't do... Cannot... Oh, I have to open all of those. Jesus. Copper mighty pitchfork. I can have a pitchfork weapon, alright. That's neat. Sorry guys, I will just try to speed it up as much as I can. Not this, rare, rare pistol schematic or rare shotgun schematic? Um, I don't know, let's go with a pistol, I guess. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, strum away, maestro. Right now I have a chance to get yeah, founder coins, which will be which will be a thing that is on only 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 for a short time right now. For the bonus pinatas. It's for the people who supported the game. Alright, silver one, I like it. So give me something good. I got my hero from silver one. It was actually epic follower, which was purple one. But now I know that there are even legendary entries. Are even better than the. Adios. I think it's the best you can get. Well, that's just my guess. Maybe there will be like that's platinum or whatever. Okay, three more. Upgrade! Nice! Rare tool schematic or rare spear schematic? Huh. Tool or spear? I don't know, let's go with tool. Copper heavy sledge, alright. Spear would be cool though. Now you can have an axe too. This, I can imagine this will be quite like annoying after a while. Like all these llamas talking to you. Okay, I got the red ranger. Nice, silver one. Epic Defender Gunslinger. Urban Assault Headhunter. Vanguard South Southie. Huh. I don't want Urban Assault, I already have one, so I'm going to go with this one. It's going to be nice. Another purple he hero, which is good for me at least. But look at all this, like it's like Christmas, right? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to click on anything else because I don't want to open another 14 piñatas, at least not for now. So here is a skill tree. I'm basically opening more and more things. I've currently one skill. But I can purchase this because I have to have. Storm Shield Defense number three opened. So I can progress with this. And there is the science tree that I opened, which is basically uh, the time game. You generate science points per time, and once you have enough, you can unlock one of these improvements. Like this, for example, is for fortitude, which is health. This is offense, this is tech, I don't know what tech does, and resistance. I'm going with the offense because. Why not? And that's it. So you're telling me that I should open, I should buy. All right, I'm going to buy an offense for now. That's it. Okay. 
What else do I have? Some new things in the armory. And some new heroes. Here, what do you can see here? That I can like, take this. Shinobi I have there. And retire her for some hero XP. I don't need her because I have like better heroes over here. So that's about it. So what does this guy do? Let's upgrade and inspect. Yeah. If it comes to heroes, uh, the thing you are concerned most about are these bonuses over here. Because in case you train him up, then you can use him as a part of your squad and then these bonuses usually applies to your active hero that you are playing. Stun button. Melee critical hits do increased impact and at 1.5 seconds of stun when the enemy is interrupted to unlock evolve hero to star level 2. Okay, whatever. So should I evolve him? Alright. I don't think I will have a chance because I'll just probably started the game. And since the game works like you are in party, you are playing with your partner. We are just going to do another mission. With my old hero. I don't mind too much though. Look. Found a secret cave. Like that, there are a lot of lot of things you can find. Most of the time it's just crafting material. But you have a bullets out of it. And some special crafting material. So. Why not? I'm going to take ammunition. There we go. So there is one dude that is AFK, apparently. No, he's back. I'm going to check my weapons though. So what do I have now? Copper Breacher, and this has more DPS than my pistol. Interesting. So th these are all things I can craft, or I could craft it if I, if I really wanted. A new sword. Sure, why not? Let's craft it before I will recycle, recycle this one and craft this one, right? And then I'm going to check what cool guns I can create. I don't think anything will be better than to my my pistols over there. I can craft something that is... Oh, this one would have quite a bunch, I think. It's much better. Long reload time, alright. Well, this one... But it doesn't matter because I don't have parts anyway. Unless I would be able to create some. No. I can't create those things though. But why those things are not sorted by rarity? Like to me. Well, That's what, what I want to know. Never I mind. Think it's a van, Mars. Hey, it's a state of the art mobile storm analysis lab. And a van. It could be both. Look, I need your help. Can you hook me up with a better antenna? I can't go into the store without those husks mobbing the van. All right, Lars, we have an idea. I've prepared the van propulsion device. Deploy when you're ready, Commander. All right, let's... Or not. Somebody triggered something. I think now we will be... We will be collecting these blue glue, blue glow, blue whatever. They're calling blue glow. Blue glow. All right. I don't know what blue glow is, but we need it. Also, you cannot drown, and you cannot swim. It's just some sort of 
like for decoration purposes, I guess. So why, why, one thing that is worth to mention that there there exists fall damage in this game, so don't jump from too much of a haze because exactly this will happen. And I don't think there is some natural regeneration, even th even though to some degree some characters have some healing abilities. Somebody is screaming that they need help. Which basically means that there is a survivor nearby. And you can go and rescue him. I'm going to deposit this thing. For I will try to look the survivor up and help him. Storm data has been updated on your mini-map. Build defenses around the van. Close the switch when you're ready. Okay, so I will I will leave it on the other guys, and I will just try to build some defenses around that van, because yeah, it's pretty much. I do it like this. Actually, can that's neat. Okay, so this should do. Alright, let's make this little door over here, over here, and yeah, not like this, though. There we go. Now, close it, make a wall. Neat. So I don't know from where. I think the storm will be coming from from this part. So let's make just a little bit the wooden. Fuck off, tree. You're in my way. The building in this game is good. It's almost sad that you cannot properly... Like, take advantage of it. No, I didn't want it wooden wall. Never mind. I'm going to make... A stone one now. So from here, I think, yeah, storming will come from over there. So there is one path that we should cover as well. Might as well build more, like, walls. But I'm going to make the smaller one. Just in case. Like this. Cool. The creatures I found out so far, they cannot jump, which is, which is good. Now when everyone will be ready, we can trigger, we can trigger the monsters. I guess. I think nobody will do it. Oh. Somebody did. Cool. Okay. Nobody's building any traps. Who the hell did... What is this guy doing? I think somebody blocked off my... Oh, they're... there. Yeah, seriously, coming from behind. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We need another wall here. Oh, she's playing ninja this time. What 
What is this there? They are all over the place. Everywhere. Alright, I think we need more defenses. I have wall trap. I do have wall trap. So I'm going to put... Nobody's coming from here, are you serious? They shot there, there's a tentacle over there. I'm going to secure this, this place. At least a little. Okay, we definitely need something over here as well. So I'm going to... Oh, fuck off! Stop spitting at me! What the hell? Okay, I'm going to create the trap on the go. So I need... I need this one. Scrap it. What? They're damaging the... How did he even get in? He destroyed this wall. What the fuck? Not good. It's not good at all. Okay. Thirty seconds to go. Hang in there. I think we will make the bonus, even or even if it was so-so. I must admit, I, I had it easy when I was playing it. It's like, I'm the senior player in this round. I was a noob when I was playing it for real. So the like, people did all defense need it. It's not over yet. Okay. So we need more of this blue glow, whatever blue glow is. I'm going to activate the run actually. Somebody else did. Neat. So the purple dots on the map should be storm, right? It's so definitely coming from from souls. And, oh wow. They're coming from everywhere. So it's not it's not about purple dots, it's more about They are fucking everywhere. And who the hell put the wooden wall in here? Fuck this wall, I'm going to make a stone one. Because I can. And with the window. Because we can shoot through the window. I'm not really sure why that builder ruined it for me. Th those low walls are good. But mostly if you want to put a trap behind them. If you want like shooting space, the window is more than enough. Oh, that's a friend. Sorry. <laughs> Darth Vader. I almost shot Darth Vader, everyone. Star Wars fan would hate me, though. you actually can do it's like I'm going to do a wall of this and I'm going to do a little pot for myself like this I confirm that 
Let's go up. Let's go even further, further up. Okay. Now, I need to make a ceiling over here. Now I see everything. They're incoming. Let's use a grenade over there. They slept to finish one to get a bonus reward. So it's a timed base bonus. Okay. I love this system because you can like you can like defend your fort or you can do what I did. Just make your float is float floaty. How would I call it? Floaty. Well outcastle I guess. Just shoot things from, from above. You can even be a sniper if you want to. And have like sniper rifle to deal with them. I think I even have. Never mind. Because we just won this. Go to the challenge success. Good job, team. That's and there goes Lars. Quick, someone air rush that on velvet. Godspeed, Lars. May the king of Olympus guide your journey. He always does. And I don't know, like this is a hippie scientist with the electric guitar floating on his bun with a balloon. To the atmosphere or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, we did it. There goes some experience. Oh, also, Fox Den is the name of my own fort. Or of my own base camp. Which is the only persistent thing in the game. Where your fort actually persists. So, at least there is an element like what I built matters. This is the only thing that has been disappointment for me in this game is that it's not completely open world. Like for example Age of Conan that it's more like divided into several segments and missions. But considering how how destroyable all of the environment is, it's probably a good thing because everything has its own point where it responds and you can destroy it and loot it all over again. Maybe they will add some sort of more like free roaming element into it. We shall see. So yeah, that was it. Uh, thanks Alastris for hosting the game and th thanks you guys for watching. I will see you in one of my next videos. I hope, I hope this, ga this game was something that you liked watching or that it put some sort of insight to whatever that was for you if you didn't know about the game at all for example so here we have it that was Fortnite and yeah I should I should like turn off the recording but I'm not going to be that kind of dick I'm going to see what's in the chest and I'm, I'm going to let you guys see as well so let's see what I got experience another experience and people that's it survivors yeah so See you next time.